welcome back guys now in this video let's continue with the pancreatic secretions we have already seen what are the gastric glands and what are the gastric secretions gastric secretions part is completed in the previous video now pancreatic secretions is having which type of enzymes so the different types of enzymes were there in the pancreas which helps in digestion of the food see there are enzymes for the digestion of carbohydrates there are enzymes for the digestion of proteins and enzymes for the digestion of lipids so all carbohydrates proteins and lipids are getting digested in the with the help of pancreatic enzymes okay see how how to remember now in saliva only carbohydrate digestion is happening as well as lipid digestion is happening but pro protein digestion is not happening with the help of salivary enzymes right? because there is no enzyme for the protein digestion in the saliva now when we are discussing about the digestion inside the stomach there is protein digestion okay with the help of uh, pepsinogen and there is digestion of lipids with the help of gastric lipase but there is no carbohydrate digestion in the stomach but in the pancreas i used to remember something like this see pancreas pan means something like a pan indian movie pan means total complete digestion of all the things so carbohydrate digestion protein digestion and lipid digestion digestion of all these three major nutrients is going to be completed in the uh, with the help of pancreatic enzymes so what are these pancreatic enzymes which are digesting the carbohydrates pancreatic amylase so pancreatic amylase like you know, causes the digestion of the carbohydrates trypsinogen chemotrypsinogen and procarboxypeptidase will help in the, the will help in the digestion of the proteins and pancreatic lipase as well as the important substance is colipase see this is the exam question colipase is present in saliva bile gastric uh, gastric secretions pancreatic secretions the pancreatic secretions colipase is a enzyme which is present in the pancreatic secretion which helps in the digestion of the lipids completed now one more important point is see this pancreatic secretions they are highly alkaline in nature see this is not the most alkaline secretion this is not the most alkaline secretion in the GI, in the gi tract the most alkaline secretion in the gi tract is brunner gland secretions which are getting produced inside the duodenum okay the, uh, the ph of 8.9 see this pancreatic secretions are also alkaline it's having a ph of 8.3 yes alkaline but not the most alkaline okay now previously we have studied wherever you see the word ogen anything which ends with the letter ogen is an inactive substance so trypsinogen chemotrypsinogen all these are inactive substances so trypsinogen is getting converted into trypsin with the help of acid hcl no pepsinogen is converted into pepsin with the help of hcl this is trypsinogen trypsinogen is converted into trypsin with the help of enterokinase okay see enterokinase is nothing but the intestinal juice okay so that we will discuss later but just for now remember trypsinogen is converted into trypsin with the help of enterokinase see why these enzymes pancreatic enzymes uh, trypsinogen chemotrypsinogen why they are getting produced in an inactive form for example if they are produced in an active form inside the pancreas what they will do they will do the digestion of the pancreas itself so inside the pancreas whatever the digestive enzymes which are getting produced those digestive enzymes are in inactive form they will come into the intestines where they are getting activated so why pancreas is producing inactive enzymes to prevent auto digestion of pancreas if within the pancreas if these enzymes are produced in active form then those enzymes will digest the pancreas itself okay so pancreatic enzymes are produced in active form to prevent the auto digestion of pancreas okay now pancreatic secretions are they hypotonic hypotonic or or isotonic in nature see i have said you one important point when we are discussing about the saliva saliva is something hypotonic in nature when compared to blood saliva will be having low osmolarity when they ask you about the pancreatic secretions pancreatic secretions will be having isotonic nature okay so they are having isotonicity with the blood plasma same osmolarity will be there now let's talk about a two different types of cells which are present in the duodenum okay we have completed the uh, stomach part now let's talk about the two important types of cells which are present in the duodenum and how those cells are going to the how the secretions from those cells are going to act on the pancreas 
See, the first type of cell which I am going to show you right now is a S cell. So, where S cell is present guys? S cell is present in the duodenum. And one more cell is I cell. So, S cell and I cell are present in the duodenum. Now, what this S cell is doing? It is producing certain chemicals, right? What are these blue color chemicals? These blue color chemicals are nothing but secretin. Okay, let me write it down for here. Write it down. Secretin. Okay, so secretin is getting produced from the S cells. S cells for secretin. Now, what these I cells are producing? I cells are producing an enzyme called as cholecystokine in pancreozymin. Okay, these yellow color things which are coming out, these are cholecystokine in pancreozymin. Now, what happens? See, if this secretin, if these molecules, secretin molecules, which I am showing in blue color, now whenever they come and act on the pancreas, what will happen? Now, the secretin, it acts on pancreatic juices. Yes, it acts on pancreatic juices. Now, under the influence of the secretin, the pancreatic juices are going to be more alkaline in nature. The pancreatic juices are going to become rich in bicarbonates and these bicarbonates helps in neutralization of the acids. Now, we have discussed. Pancreatic juices are alkaline or not? Yes, they are alkaline. They are having a pH of 8.3. And how that 8.3 pH have came? Secretin from the S cells is going to come and act on the pancreas. Now, pancreas is going to put more bicarbonates into the pancreatic juices. So, pancreatic juices are more alkaline under the influence of secretin. Now, the same pancreatic juices are going to be rich in digestive enzymes when, when they are acted upon by cholecystokinin pancreozymin. Again, please concentrate. This I cell, it is going to produce cholecystokine and pancreozymin. In the name itself, it is there, right? Pancreozymin, enzyme, zymin, pancreatic enzymes. So, this pancreozymin part, please concentrate. Now, this cholecystokine and pancreozymin, it is going to come and act on the pancreas. Now, again, pancreas is going to produce the juices. Which juices? Now, the pancreatic juices, whichever are released, they are going to be rich in digestive enzymes. So, two things you need to keep in mind. When pancreas is getting acted upon by secretin, the pancreatic juices are going to be more alkaline in nature. More bicarbonates are going to be present in the pancreatic juices. When the pancreas is acted upon by cholecystokine and pancreozymin, now the pancreatic juices are going to be rich in digestive enzymes. Completed. Now, there is one more part, right? CCK. What is this CCK? Cholecystokinin. So, wherever you use the word kinin, kinetics. Kinetics means movement. Which movement? Cholecyst movement. What is this cholecyst? Cholecyst movement. Cholecyst is nothing but your gallbladder. So, cholecystokinin is going to come and cause the contraction of gallbladder. So, whatever the bile which is getting stored inside the gallbladder is now going to leak into the duodenum. So, I cells are going to release cholecystokinin pancreozymin. Now, cholecystokinin, cholecystokinin, it will also act on the gallbladder, helps in the contraction of gallbladder and helps in release of the bile. Okay. Now, let's see what is the stimulus for the release of secretin. We all know secretin is making the pancreatic juices rich in bicarbonates. So, what is the when? When the S cells are going to release the secretin? The stimulus is acidic chyme. Okay. Now, see in this image guys. Whenever acidic chyme. Okay. Acidic chyme is nothing but the partially digested food. Right. Whenever there is acid production in the stomach. And whenever the part this digested food. Okay. Acidic chyme. Whenever it is reaching the duodenum. Now, duodenum knows. Oh my god. Acid is coming. Now, what we'll do? Now, the S cells in the duodenum, they are giving signals to the pancreas. Now, what pancreas is going to do now? Just tell me, pancreas is going to produce the pancreatic juices, which is rich in bicarbonate. So, bicarbonate-rich pancreatic juices are now getting synthesized. Now, this bicarbonate-rich pancreatic juices, they are going to be released into the duodenum. Why? Because pancreas opens into the duodenum, right? So, bicarbonate-rich pancreatic juices are going to be released into the duodenum. Now, what happens? Acid is coming. Bicarbonate rich juice is already there. Now they will mix and there is a neutralization of the acid. So, what is the stimulus for the release of secretin? Acidic chyme coming from the stomach is the stimulus for the S cells to release secretin. Now, what is the stimulus for the I cells? What is the stimulus for the release of cholecystokinin? See, whenever you eat fat rich food, whenever you eat fat rich food, that fat rich food need to be digested or not just tell me yes the fat rich food need to be digested who is helping in the digestion of the fats 
bile is helping in the emulsification of fats bile is helping in the digestion of fats okay it's helping in the digestion of fats bile does not have any lipases but bile helps in digestion of fats so whenever there is a fat rich food that fat rich food the, the those fats are going to stimulate the eye cells now eye cells is going to release cholecystokinin now this cholecystokinin will help in contraction of gallbladder and bile is going to be released now that bile mixes with the fat rich food they are going to mix with the fats helps in emulsification process and ultimately causes the digestion of lipids so at the end of the day you need to know these points for secretin the stimulus is acidic kind for cholecystokinin in pancreas i mean which is coming from the eye cells the stimulus is fat rich diet okay and remember all the time know this one point secretin is anti acid secretin helps in production of more bicarbonates which neutralizes the acid so secretin is anti acid it is the nature's anti acid okay and secretin is the first hormone to be discovered in the humans these two are important single line equations which we have completed now in the next video let's discuss important points about the bile how bile is going to help in from the process of emulsification and how bile is going to help in digestion of the fats and how baba drugs like bile acid binding drugs is going to be useful for the treatment of hyperlipidemias see you in the next video guys